sometimes I wonder, what do people do with their boxes and their ribbons after they've opened it? Because it's great, it's lovely when you receive an item, but once you've actually opened the item, do you keep your items in its packaging? Do you keep your box in the bag? What do you do at the ribbon? my channel if you're new here my name is Cara and I'm from London I vlog about all things fashion with a guilty pleasure on the luxury end of it fashion is my therapy it's my natural high so if you can relate and would like to indulge with me then comment like and subscribe hit the notification bell and follow me on our fashion fix together so how has everybody's week been have you been okay have you been well is everyone keeping warm I have to say it's full blown sunshine here today. It's 13 degrees and I'm very happy. There's nothing better than waking up in the morning and seeing blue skies and sunshine because it does feel like spring's on its way, doesn't it? I know we're sort of just over the halfway mark for winter, but there's something about your endorphins that are lifted when you see the sun. So happy halfway to spring, everyone. So this week, I wanted to show you what I bought from the Chanel sale, because if I take any longer to show you, it will be full blown spring and these items will be too hot to wear. So for those of you who don't know, the Chanel sale, those two words alone are like golden nuggets, gold dust. Not many people actually know that Chanel do a sale, which is a shame really because a lot of people do like to buy into the brand or aspire to buy into the brand. It would be really nice if it was made a little bit more public so that other people could buy into it as opposed to the people who are only invited. So usually with the Chanel sale they have two a year, one at the end of spring summer season and one at the end of autumn winter season. Now being in February the autumn winter sale has just finished at the end of January. It started at the end of December. Apparently this time round it was in only. And now as I mentioned before, usually not many people know that they do a sale, but they do a preview sale for uh, VIPs and they do then make it public. I did hear this time round it was invite only only. There was no public sale, which I think is a bit of a shame. For me, I was very thankful because my mother and I were invited by our SA Chanel and we decided to go at the beginning of January. Without any further ado, I will start to show you my two items that I bought. I mean, I didn't go in to buy anything. With the Chanel sale, it is as any other sale. It's end of season, so you won't expect to see any classics. It's all seasonal. So it's usually a time of year when brands tend to clear out of their old season to bring in the new. So the pieces I've decided to buy are what I would say, in my opinion, classic pieces. They aren't classic pieces, but they are pieces that I I feel that I can wear year in year out all the time. They are classics in the sense that the design can give you the longevity. I haven't really jumped on the bandwagon for seasonal pieces with Chanel. I don't really buy the pop colours because I tend to go for like the classic black or white as I've alluded to before. By the way you can have a look at my other Chanel unboxings, I'll put a link up here. So let's get to our first piece. Right so the first piece is right here. Shall we have a look? Can we just appreciate the packaging? I mean, I am absolutely in love. It's such a lovely, lovely bag, isn't it? So I don't know if you can guess already because I have sort of said I like classic pieces and I'm going to make this a classic piece because it's something that I can wear time and time again. I do feel like this is my first spring purchase even though I bought this in the new year in the winter season so let's have a look and see what's inside can you guess do you want to put any comments below to see what you think it is first shall I just get on with it and open it yep okay sometimes I wonder what do people do with their boxes and their ribbons after they've opened it because 
it's great it's lovely when you receive an item but once you've actually opened the item do you keep your items in its packaging do you keep your box in the bag what do you do at the ribbon i sort of rarely put my hair up but when i do i have actually tied it as a long ribbon at the back of my ponytail so here we have a very beautiful chanel box and i don't know why I'm whispering suddenly. It's, it just takes my breath away, I'm sorry. Right, let's have a look and see what's inside. Are we ready? I don't know if I am. Mm. Oh, they've made it nice and easy for me. They didn't put a sticker, that's good. Oh, can we see what that is? Do we know what that might be? chain detail on it again I'm talking very hushed this is what this brand does to me <gasps> are we ready oh, it is a pair of gloves I'll take it out of the box When I saw, I'll give you a little bit of story time, shall I? When I went into the Chanel sale, and may I say, they are very good with having everything on display ready for you when you come in to see the sale. However, these little babies were in a section that I don't think it was, should have been. Um, so I saw it first and I went straight for it. And basically I shoved my hand in them so quickly before I could even blink hoping that they would fit and they were the last size look isn't she beautiful sorry aren't they beautiful oops did I flash you something now in my other vlog which I'll put here I said that one of my favorite numbers was number five because I was born on that date look oh beautiful aren't they just so beautiful let me take a look now this is really i would say this would be an investment purchase because even though it's the sale for many people this would be a full price item actually i'll tell you how much it is before i try them on I have the receipt right here so if you haven't seen a chanel receipt it's in this beautiful card with the camellia emboss and the Chanel on the, on the front. Back is obviously very simple. So inside you have your receipt. I did buy it from Harrods Chanel. One of my essays in there, so amazing. I'll tell you how much the gloves were. So I got these for £672. I know it sounds immense, but for calf skin leather, it's something that I would actually by the amount of times I will wear this, I'll bring the cost per wear down anyway. So let me try it on and show you. I mean, first of all, the calf skin is extremely soft. It's so very soft. And I think with wear, it will actually soften even further. If the glove fits. Hello, old boy. They are, um, and in fact, let me just reach over here and just snip the Eek. So on one side, on my left hand, you have a very beautiful black and gold CC with quilting on the top of your hand and of course the luxury iconic chain strap that you will find on classic flaps and other bags. And on the right hand side, much to my happiness, is the number five. Oh, they are lovely, aren't they? Can you put some comments underneath? Let me know what you think. 
What do you think? Do you like them? And I'm really happy because I can even use these as driving gloves. You know, they're long enough to keep you warm when you're outside. But they, they, they fit, excuse the pun, they fit like a glove. I mean, they are, the, the cut, I can see it's a little bit rounded on some of the fingers. But on others, it's so slim and elegant. I think with wear, once I start wearing them, they'll bend in the right places and it will, it, it will just feel like second skin. So here are my gloves. I'm very happy. Um, and I didn't expect to find something so beautiful. And if I show you the details close up. So on the side where your hand goes just here, it's elasticated just to give you a little bit extra movement. So you can see the close up, the applique stitching. You have black calfskin leather there and just underneath is gold metallic calfskin leather. Oh, it's just so pretty, really, really nice. Oh, the quilting goes right up to the wrist and on the other side as well. And as I said, I like to buy things that last the test of time. I'm sure if there's a pop colour that I love, it will change my mind. But I tend not to go for the saturated colours. I know it's on trend at the moment. Um, it has been on trend for a while. That's why they do so well. But I think for me, I do like the neutrals. So black, white, beige, nude, pinks, greys. So this one, I think is a good investment. OK, so the second item requires a lot of space, which frankly... I'm going to have to take up the whole screen with, let me just show you, shall I? It's a very, very big bag and I'm completely going to co cover myself now. Here we have, here we have a very big box. So I'm going to put her down and show you what's inside. Shall we have a look at the second and final item of the sale? Here we have her in a very big box. Eek. I actually stared at this box in the bag for a very, very long time. As I said, I bought it at the beginning of January. And, you know, when you sort of come home after buying something of a luxury item, well, for me anyway, as I've said in my first vlog, I don't just unwrap it and it's a regular item that I've bought. I keep it to one side, I value it, I'm humbled by the fact that I can afford to buy this. And quite frankly, I'm very thankful because, I mean, the packaging does make it look even more beautiful, I have to say, before you actually open the box. But once you do, you can actually get into your items and start wearing them, unlike me who keeps it for weeks and weeks. So. Here she is, one of my babies. And yes, if you have noticed, the box does have a little bit of rubbing, if you can see here. Can you see? Just a little, some marks, which is understandable when in a warehouse or a stock room, they're all on top of each other like this. So when they're pulling the boxes in and out, there's some marks, but I don't mind. I think it adds to the character. So, can we see her? Shall we lift her up? Oh, she's not as heavy as I thought. So, this is going to be a first large box unboxing. Oh, I'm so excited to show you. Let's take the camellia off. Very excited. It's amazing they found a bag to actually fit the item in, to be honest with you. Are we ready? Are we even ready? Actually, I might have to put the box down before they collapse. Let's have a look and see what happens when we reveal. No, I think we'll be fine. Okay, the lid is coming off. I'm balancing. It's a balancing act. Thank God this isn't live. Okay, so we all know by now it's not an SLG, it's not a small item, it's not a small bag. Could it be a bag? I wonder. Could it be an item of clothing? What could it be? I 
what would you find in a box as big as this? David, it's over to you. It's a UK joke, if you know, you know. Right, let's have a little look, shall we? Oh, lovely Chanel tissue paper here. I don't think they always wrap items in Chanel branded tissue. I could be wrong, but I think perhaps they don't. Okay, I'm opening. What is in here? Are we ready? Is everyone ready? I'm quite impressed it's not collapsed out the box yet. Oh, there's layers and layers that's even keeping me guessing. Can you imagine if I open this and it isn't actually the item that I ordered? It'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? Right, here is the grand reveal. Are we even ready? We have some boots. Let me put the box down, I'll show you properly. Oh my goodness. So the first thing I experience by taking the lid off is the smell of the leather. It smells like a new car and I don't mean to sound horrible for anybody who's vegan but when you go into the smell of a new car with leather seats this is what I'm smelling right now. It's, it's, it's amazing, I love it. Oh my goodness. Here we have one. Again it's a them. They are beautiful. So we have a calfskin leather boot and first of all I'll talk about the leather and because I, as I said I do like things that will last the test of time and I wouldn't buy an expensive Chanel branded piece of footwear if I didn't feel that the leather would be soft enough to stand the test of time. I recently did a sneaker trainer review to see if I thought they were worth the hype and I asked you if you thought they were worth the hype. I'll put the link up here but I talked about one of the reasons why I rated my number one sneaker as number one was because of the comfort of the leather. It was so soft so have a look and see that one. It's the same thing for this. First of all it's calfskin leather but it's not just calfskin leather it's buttery buttery soft calfskin leather. If only this was a touchscreen technology, you would feel it. If I could try and capture the softness, the butteriness on the light, you can see it's extremely soft. It feels very smooth. It's not a hard leather at all. If I let go of the top, it just flops over. It's something I feel will last for years and probably get even softer during those years. The toe tip is in a grosgrain fabric and it has the Chanel with whip stitch trim. It's just beautiful, really stunning. The heel, I think the heel is like an 85. It's not as high as 100 um, centimeters. So it's something, a good level of heel height if you did need to walk a decent amount of time. I mean, with me, I tend to buy chunky Chelsea boots, sneakers, trainers, if I'm going to be doing a lot of walking in the day. So I wouldn't actually wear these boots if I needed to do a lot of walking. This will definitely last long in terms of a whole night or if you have an event, you could wear these comfortably. You can even put a shoe sole inside if you need to. So let's have a look at the, oh good, you've got the, what's that say? That must just be a stock number. So here are the details of the boot. It is 20k and they're called the high boots, 37 and a half and it was 1600 pounds and it now is 960 pounds so it's a good saving of 40% there. So if anyone needed to take a screenshot of that and try and find it then you know, hope you do. I actually knew that these boots were in the store before I got there because I did, as I say, I was lucky enough to be invited so we got a little preview of what was in store through photographs and all I saw on the photo I think were 
a side view like no actually i didn't even see the toe i think i saw it sitting on the shelf like this no like this so i knew they were soft because they flopped over um, and i wanted to see if i could buy a pair of boots that were soft enough to invest in from chanel and i'm really happy with them i'll try them on to show you they're not knee high they're calf high and what i love about them another thing you probably don't know about me yet is i love the 1980s and when i wear them they slouch down so they're not designed to fit straight up on your leg with no buckling with no slouching they are designed to be a slouchy boot and when you're walking uh, well certainly for me when i'm walking it doesn't drop down any further so it does stay on your calf but the overall look is very 80s and i absolutely love that element so this certainly a purchase i'm very happy with i think it will last for ages i would even wear it in the spring in the autumn perhaps for a night out in the summer with a little black dress and some tights perhaps i'm really happy with that one so that's the second and final unboxing of the chanel sale i'm really happy with my purchases i think they're really really good quality items what do you think do you like them do you think they'll stand the test of time is it something that you would have bought what do you think of the price you know these are all things i love to hear other people's opinions so until next week have a lovely week don't forget to keep warm wrap up i did hear it's a bit of a cold spell coming again soon if you don't know i'm cara and if you'd like to follow me find me on instagram una underscore cara underscore rose where i post very often and if you miss me like follow subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you next week